Hi everyone, welcome to Lipstick on a Rig. Today we're gonna to be making this beanie. For this project, I'm gonna be using two different colored skeins of size four medium weight acrylic yarn. And this is just the Big Twist Value brand. I'm also gonna be using a size K crochet hook. So go ahead and grab both ends of your yarn. And for the entire project, you're gonna treat these two yarn ends like they are one. So go ahead and tie a slip knot to attach your crochet hook to. And then we're gonna chain 50. And you don't have to use this exact yarn that I'm using. You don't even have to use yarn that is the same size, weight, brand, or type. And if you're using a chunky yarn, then just go ahead and use one strand rather than two. And if you're unfamiliar with any of the stitches used in this pattern, please check the links in the description because I'll have my stitch tutorials listed there. And once you have your 50 chains in place, go ahead and turn them over so that you can access these back bumps back here. And just note that this is not the V portion of the stitch in the front, but it's these back bumps instead. So what we're gonna do is we are going to place one slip stitch in each of these back bumps. And that includes the chain that is directly beside your crochet hook. And when you get to the end of your row, you're just gonna to wanna to chain one and turn your work. And then from here, you're just gonna place one slip stitch in the back loop only of each stitch in your row. And you're just gonna to wanna to repeat this exact row, placing one slip stitch in the back loop only of each stitch in your row, chaining one and turning your work over and over and over again until this beanie reaches your desired width, which for me is gonna be around 18 inches. So I went ahead and followed that pattern of placing one slip stitch in the back loop only of each stitch in the row, chaining one and turning my work. And it looks something like this. And I've crocheted this to roughly 18 inches using my head as sort of a gauge to see how wide it should be. So from here, what we're gonna do is we are going to combine these two edges together, but it's important to note that make sure that you've ended on the side where your crochet hook is on the opposite side of your starting tail. And the reason why that is, is because we're gonna be crocheting these two edges together. And it's really nice if you don't have a tail on the edge of your brim. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you've placed your last chain at the end of your last row. And then you're gonna fold your two edges together like this. And then all we're gonna do is place slip stitches underneath the entire stitch in these corresponding stitches on both edges to crochet them together. And your yarn might be a little bit tight, especially with that starting row. So just be patient, it'll get a little bit easier with time. So all you're gonna do is just make sure that you're inserting your crochet hook up underneath the entire stitch in both stitches on both edges, just like this. And you're just gonna wanna repeat that process for every stitch in your row, placing one slip stitch through the entire stitch on both sides. And once you've placed a slip stitch in each stitch in your edge, it should be secured together. So now all you're gonna wanna do is cut and tie off your yarn. And I usually just tie my starting and ending tails together. So go ahead and cut a strand of yarn that is roughly one and a half to two feet in length. And working in the side where your tails are, we are gonna weave this strand of yarn all the way around the edge. So starting somewhere near where your tails are, all you're gonna wanna do is just weave this yarn through the edge of the brim here. And you're not trying to capture every loop in your weave, but probably every inch or half an inch, you're gonna wanna weave into the edge here. Just like that. So once you're done weaving the edge, all you're gonna wanna do is grab both ends of your strand of yarn and pull them nice and tight. Then you're gonna tie them together and that secures the edge together like this. And then I always like to secure this to my starting and ending tail ties here. And then from here, I'm just going to pull these tails back through. And I'm not gonna cut them short yet because I want to attach a poof ball. And in case you're interested, I will link to my DIY poof ball maker. It only costs $4 to make and it makes really nice poof balls. So from here, all you're gonna wanna do is fold your brim up like this. 
please let me know in the comments below if you experienced any issues while you were trying to make this and I will do my best to help you out. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, Lipstick on a Rig. Thank you so much for working with me and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.